How's it going you guys? Welcome back to Unorthodox Savings. So this video is going to be as short as I can possibly make it. And it's also very rare because I almost never do individual stock picks. But I haven't seen anybody talk about this. And this is a very new stock and I just want to get into as much details as I can. So I'm sure almost all of you have heard of Amazon, Alibaba, America and China's biggest e-commerce companies. Well, Russia has its own company a cup on the way and it just hit the market on november 24th now this company is not new by any means it's been around since the 90s so all the way back in 1998 this was listed as just a online bookstore and nothing more but throughout the years they started selling more and more so 2019 forbes magazine has listed this as one of the top five internet companies now hold on before i go any further i just want to let this be known this is for entertainment purposes only this is not financial advice so please do not copy what i do i just like to share with you guys what i am investing in so i just to let you guys know i picked up a small position in this company because i do think it's a great uh, company it got valued at 6.2 billion dollars when it was first listed and in 2019 it had a 93 percent growth rate and then 2020 had 152 percent growth rate so i've even gone as deep into the company as looking at its shareholders and i couldn't find any sketchy information on anybody who has equity in the company so for me that's also really good because sometimes politics and you know battle between online e-commerce companies can get really sketchy and it ends up making people lose a lot of money for example elon musk lost a bunch of money just for smoking a blunt on the joe rogan podcast and you know that's not an amazon style company as a car manufacturer and his stock went down even though it did went back up shortly after so much like alibaba and amazon this company and business model is very profitable especially now that online shopping is at an all-time high and especially because of the holiday seasons also, this company has raised $990 million when it hit the market, beating the target price from $22.5 between $27.5 because right now it's sitting at $40 a share. I ended up getting into this company at $38 a share. So like I said earlier, I'm only having a small position in this company and I do plan to hold on this for a while. Um, as of right now, it's marked as a $7.16 billion market cap, making this mid cap stock. So you know, bigger hands can get into the stock and push the price up. And I've also noticed the volume of the stock is also very low. And in my eyes, it's a good thing because as more investors and more people put money into this, it gives them a lot of room to shoot up. But in my personal opinion, and especially in the longer term, this company is gonna have to show more proof of actual numbers as meaning profits to have bigger hands and bigger news articles to come out and really boost the stock and make the stock known throughout the world. I almost forgot to mention this company doesn't have a dividend, but most companies with this business model don't because they reinvest the money back into the company to improve the website, how they ship products, how they handle products. So this makes sense for this business model to really not have a dividend. And as of right now, uh, this is just on my watch list. I'm just throwing out the information. You guys need to know right off the bat. And in upcoming weeks, I'm going to give more and more information on it. I just haven't seen any other YouTubers talk about it. So I figured I would just let everybody know now and then provide more information later later to see how this stock is actually going to perform. Just like all of my investments, never invest any money that you can't lose and have a plan. You know, have a price you want to buy in at, have a price you want to sell at. And then I usually set a stop loss in case anything goes wrong. I get proven wrong. I mean, sometimes this happens and, and this stock in particular, this is something that I speculate on. So I use a small amount of money. You know, I'm not putting a huge amount in. So I'm only getting around 10 shares, but um, I'll keep you guys updated. Thank you guys very much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.